Hey, what's up, guys? It's Craig Syracuse with Welcome Faith. Happy Friday. It is a beautiful day this weekend. We're excited. It's my niece's birthday. We're going apple picking and pumpkin picking. Yes, we will be wearing masks. Hope you enjoy the day. September 25th, seeking his guidance. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. That's Psalm. When seeking God's guidance about a matter, do you ever have trouble sensing what he would have you do? Have your feelings become so dominant that it's difficult to sense his direction? If so, then pray and ask the Lord to give you promises from Scripture to cling to when your faith is challenged. Don't react to situations immediately. When they arise, rather take time to seek the Father by opening his word and asking him to give you understanding about your circumstances. As you do, he will give you the verses that will become anchors for your soul. Soon enough, you will begin to see how he is leading you. Continue to lay the matter out before the Lord until you are not only certain about the path, but have arrived at the destination. Friend, God knows your heart and he realized the depth of your feelings toward the situation that is on your mind today. You can trust him to lead you wisely even when the way is unclear. Have faith in his ability to teach you. Lord, reveal the verses that you want me to cling to and help me clearly hear your voice, amen, in his presence, trust his guidance. So this is all about building a relationship with Christ. And remember, it's something you have to do every single day. There are so many times where I'll just open this up and just read a scripture and say, oh my God, that's exactly what I needed to hear, exactly what I wanted to hear. And you know what I do? I write them down. And then I think about them. Anytime something happens, I think about Jeremiah, I think about the plans, I think about all of the different Psalms, and I think about all the different scriptures that help me when something comes. Because just because you know, you have a relationship doesn't mean, you know, fear, anxiety, depression doesn't sort of come the enemy, right? But what you need to do is when that happens is seek his guidance, to sit down and ask God, God, what are you trying to reveal in my spirit? Or maybe he'll direct you in a way where you just open the Bible and see a scripture and then remind yourself constantly and just constantly recite it. And then over time, find a new scripture. Because sometimes for me personally, sometimes scripture after a while, it gets like stale and I need something new. And that's what happens when you, well, that's what, when you build a relationship, you start to understand scripture. People don't like to read scripture because it reveals sin in themselves. And we don't want to ask God for guidance because of pride, because we know how to handle it, right? We're, we're men, we're women. I don't need God. We only need God on Sunday, or maybe you don't need God at all. But as you build a relationship with Jesus Christ, and as you read scripture, you will see how happy, how full of joy, you know, how life is so much clearer. Take the time today to open up the Bible, pick any page, read the scripture, and let me know if it, if it has a real effect on you, an effect on your spirit. Until next time, always remember, if you're built to inspire and evangelize through words and actions.